All right, Michael Cook's here. We got two movies to watch this morning. One of them in the theaters, the other one available on Netflix. What are we going to we're going to do Till? Let's do Till and first. And it's on It's on theaters. It's in today. Theaters and and theaters. like this, this movie like the other ones are both based on true stories. Ooh. This is about Emmett Till, the young man who was tragically killed in 1955. The movie starts out to, it's stars Danielle Deadweiler as Mamie Till, the the mother of the 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 doom young man. Uh, she, they live in Chicago. They have a good life and she, he wants to go down to Mississippi for the summer to, for a little vacation and see his cousins. And at the beginning of the film she warns him that for, for, uh, you know, for black people in, in Mississippi it's a whole different world uh, down there. You have to act differently. You have to be very careful because your life could be in danger. Uh, Jalen Hill is fantastic as, as uh, Emmett Till. He's only in the movie for a, a brief time but he has the charisma to really make you uh, just dread and, and heartbreak because you know what is coming. Mm. Uh, the story, for people who may not know, is in 1955, uh, Emmett Till, uh, his crime was he whistled at a white woman. Uh, that was it. And he was uh, lynched and killed by uh, a group of men. The, the, what happened was Mamie Till decided at his funeral to show his body which was badly bruised, I mean, just horrific. And that, you know, really heated up and, you know, kicked up the civil rights movement uh, a whole notch. Uh, Danielle Deadwilder, I think, gives an Oscar-worthy uh, performance as the mother. You can just, the, the emotion across her face, without her even saying words, you just feel her pain. Uh, again, Jalen Hill, uh, Jalen Hill is, is fantastic as Emmett Hill. So the movie, it tells the story in terms of what happened before, a little bit about the incident and then how the mother became a civil rights activist and really fought hard for civil rights, fought for justice for her son. This is just a, just a wonderful, wonderful movie. Great performances. It's helpful to know this story and, and know about the truth of this history. I really enjoyed it. It's a tough subject matter. Frankly, you're going to cry many times throughout it, but I give it a 9 out of 10. 9. I was hoping for the 10. It's close. Almost. There was a few minor quibbles, but that's the nine's a strong, strong movie. <laughs> you mentioned you'll cry several times during it. Just watching it and hearing you talk about it, I got mad a couple times. Yes, yeah, you'll get. You'll you'll be furiated too. Okay, cool. We're not cool, but. Yeah, I know. She <laughs> it, it, it achieves its purpose. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Next movie to talk about is called The Good Nurse. It recently premiered on Netflix. It has two Oscar winners as its star stars, uh, Jessica Chastain and Eddie Redmayne. This is also based on a true story. Jessica Chastain plays, well, The Good Nurse. She's a, a single mother with two kids. She has a heart condition, which she's keeping a secret because uh, she doesn't. She has to wait a year to get her health insurance, and if the, the hospital finds out, she thinks they'll fire her uh, mm. for this un disclosed health uh, um, uh, condition. Eddie Redmayne plays a new nurse who comes to work at her hospital. They, be, they uh, strike up a platonic friendship. Uh, he gets involved in her life and friends with the kids and so on. But then she slowly starts to suspect that he might be involved with some mysterious deaths at the hospital. Some unexplained uh, deaths of people who should not have died, died. Uh, two detectives are on the case trying to figure out what happened to one of these patients. Jessica Chastain starts to work with them and trying to figure out the mystery that is Eddie Redmayne's character. Again, this is based on a true story, so without giving anything away, you, you kind of have a sense of what is going to happen. And some, in fact, some of you may know this story from the early 2000s. This movie, it's in a lot of ways, it's sort of the, the typical crime genre film that Netflix kind of churns out periodically. But what makes this one a little bit different is you have the star power and, and just the acting chops of Eddie Redmayne and Jessica Chastain who are just fantastic and I think they're able to elevate the material. That could be a little humdrum at times. It's not quite as compelling as it should be but their performances I think take it to a level that makes it enjoyable. So I did enjoy the film. It's you know kind of plods along a few times Times, but I give it a seven and a half out of ten. Oh, seven and a half out of ten. A okay. decent Saturday afternoon watch if you like. Any true chance crime. we get an Oscar nod for this one? I think this will probably get an Oscar nod somehow along the way. Maybe for Danielle Deadwilder, uh, or, or you know, more than likely for her performance. All right, cool. Thanks, Michael.